Uh, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I am playing uh, World of Tanks. Uh, the tank I am playing is uh, Sarl 42. It's a French Tier 4 tank. And the map is uh, Himmelsdorf. So, um, I'm trying to think of a joke in Spanish, but I couldn't think of any. Uh, my plan was to run across the middle, which <laughs> looks like that locust did. Didn't do him any good. I, w I wish I could uh, help out that guy, but uh, there's an a M3 steward here who's going to make it a little bit difficult for me to do that. And now it might be too late. Okay, he, he looks like... No, he's not going up. Enemy armor is damaged. Come on, buddy. So I wanted to run across the middle and flank them. Not quite working out. guy right when he goes across. Got him. Okay. will easily destroy me. But they are advancing. I mean, we have to do something. Enemy armor is damaged. So I'm going to be in a tough position here. They're obviously advancing across. Someone's coming across the middle. Okay, so they flanked me, and uh, there was little I could do, but uh, it was a slow game. So my plan was to go up the middle like the Locust did, but he did it right away, and when you do it right away, the enemy sees you, and then they stick around. My idea was to wait until the enemy spreads out, and then go up the middle, and hopefully they won't see me, and then go around the backside or something like that. Um, but because he, he went too fast, so the enemy saw him, and then they there were like four tanks over there watching over the place. Um, so that plan would no longer work. However, what I, I obviously I'm not going to leave because there's so many targets to shoot at, even though they were hiding. Um, what I could have done, considering that there were four tanks over there, plus another perhaps three on the right side, which would be a total of seven plus whoever went up the hill, the west side probably would was a little bit less, a little bit more lightly defended. So I probably, what I could have done is gone up around the west side to flank them. But that's okay. It was still a good game, even though we lost. And I will cry. I'm going to get into another game with this, but first I want to check out my T-46 because he's about to upgrade... He needs 465 to upgrade. Okay, so I'm going to get into another game with the Sarl 42. I'm going to show you uh, right now that I have uh, the upgraded armor, 
the upgraded engine, one of the upgraded ra radios, and one of the upgraded guns. So it's not a complete upgrade, but it is not a stock machine either. And here we go into battle. Okay, so this map is Lakeville. And usually I do some spotting in the beginning to take advantage of uh, some any tanks that are headed on the way to town. What I'll do is, is I will uh, try to spot tanks as they're going to town. You can see my Lakeville spotting video. It's easier to do it from the north side. It's more difficult to do it from the south because on the north side there's a bush that you can hide behind. And uh, on this side, there's a rock with bushes on either side. But I, but the problem is that a lot of uh, enemy tanks can snipe you from the road. So I'm going to go this way. Hopefully, the Hetzer will go far enough that he'll spot some targets. In general, tank destroyers have a longer view range than regular tanks. It looks like he's not going to go very far. And uh, tanks that have an open top usually have a long view range. So there's the rock that I'm heading for. It's right in front of me. And I'm going to take this bush right here. Right there, they could get... Yep, see what, I, see what happened here? That guy right there. Taking shots at me. His whole team can see me now. I haven't seen anybody on his team. Enemy armor is hit. Target. Yeah, well, that's too bad. Huh, didn't work out. Okay. That's the Sarl 42.